Which you guys, what happens if you turn off your PC during a Windows update? That's what we're going to try out today, and I'm going to show you exactly what can happen to your system. Now, every event when you update Windows is going to be different depending on what type of update you are doing. If it's a feature update, this can be very dangerous to stop an update like I'm doing right here because we're shutting down the PC during an update process that says do not shut down your PC at this stage. Now, it can sometimes recover itself and start the process off again by re-updating when you restart the PC like this. It doesn't guarantee that you are going to see this. You can end up with a black screen or you can end up with some other major problem if you stop the updating process during its update. Now, some updates are very, very slow. You may get a black screen sometimes and it's still working in the background. People tend to just shut the PC off because they think it's crashed and it hasn't. So now we're at the desktop. We are now seeing a error which says install error and it gives you a number. This will change every time that you try to update. But does that mean we've bricked our computer and we're going to need to fix it or reinstall Windows? Well, let's try downloading and installing the update again. And as you can see, it's now creating a error. And this is very common when you stop an error during the process of its installation because it could be a critical Windows file and you've just stopped it during that process of installing. Now, Microsoft and Windows 10 and Windows 11 has been uh, very clever at recovering from uh, situations when you stop a Windows update, but they don't explain on what type of update is going on during that process. And if you stop it at any particular time, it can cause a major problem like you're seeing here. When I go to update, it's trying to install this update here. And all I keep getting now is error codes coming up when I'm installing. Now, there's a few things you can try, but again, the best thing to do is just don't stop it. You can see already we're now getting another error code during the Windows update of this system. It's trying to install these updates. Now, you can try the reset Windows update tool to try and fix your problem. It's not guaranteed to work. It does a pretty good job at fixing this issue, but it's not always guaranteed to fix uh, the problem that you have. So I'm going to go into here and what we're going to do is try to reset the Windows Update components and clear out all of the previous information that was downloaded from Microsoft. And hopefully uh, this will help us re-update our system without having any issues. So let's go ahead in and uh, clear this out. So what it's going to do is stop Windows Update service. It's going to stop the background intelligent transfer service. It's having issues there. So I'll say yes, I want to try again. And hopefully this will go through. And then what it's going to do is it's going to start to clear out any sort of information in there, as you'll see in a second. So the delivery optimization service is stopping and it's going to stop a bunch of other services. And now you can see success. It's renamed a bunch of folders and it's now going to restart all the services again. And we can now go ahead and try our Windows update and see whether that fixes the issue. So you can already see by just stopping or interrupting that update, it's caused us a lot of headache. Now, this doesn't mean that if you do this, it's going to cause this issue. It may well just restart updating and it may finish off updating without any error codes. So it's important to remember no update is the same and everyone is updating different updates at any different time. And this can cause a major problem if it's a critical update that you're doing at that particular time when you interrupt it or stop it or shut down the system. That is when it's the most dangerous, when you shut down the PC during that system update, and that can cause a major problem. So what we're going to do here now is run SFC scan now to see if there's any corruption on the system. And once this is done, it will tell us some information here, and we'll be able to know what's happened uh, to this computer when we shut down the PC during the update process. So I'm just going to let this go along and you can see here Windows Resource uh, Protection found corrupt files and was unable to fix some of them. So now we know we've got problems and you can investigate this further, but we already know what we've done. We've stopped the update process during a critical part and it's not liked it at all. And now it's causing us a major issue. Now, Windows does have a built in troubleshooter for the Windows updates feature, and we'll give that a go and see what it finds. I'm going to go to Windows Update here, 
and I've tried to install this again. You can see we're still getting that error code. It's still not fixed. And what we're going to do is going to go ahead and try it one more time. And it's not working as you can see here. So what we need to do here now is I've tried this multiple times and restarted the computer. So what we're going to do is try the troubleshooting tool and go into uh, Windows and troubleshooting and run the Windows Update troubleshooting tool and see what it actually finds. I'm pretty sure it's going to find corrupt components and it's probably going to try to fix them and hopefully it will fix them. But I've not had much luck with this Windows Update troubleshooting tool in the past, so I'm not holding my breath on this one. So we'll let it finish. It's asking to restart the PC because it's fixed some problems. And we're just going to let this go one more time here to see what it finds. And it's now starting to investigate and diagnose the situation. And then it's going to give us some information about what it's found. Hopefully it's a uh, good news and we can fix it. And you can see here, uh, check for missing or corrupt files, not fixed. And again, check for Windows Update issues detected. So there is an issue with the Windows Update, as you would expect, because we stopped it during the process. So now you know that doing this can cause major problems for your PC. Let's go ahead and try a couple of more things here to see whether we can resolve this. Let's try this command here to check to see whether there's an issue here and whether we can fix it by using this command here. I'm pretty sure it's going to ask me to do this offline. So we're going to go ahead and try this first and we'll do check uh, health and we'll see what comes back here. So let's go ahead and push enter. And this will then go ahead and check the system. You can see component store is repairable and it says the operation completed successfully. So let's go ahead and do the next command, which is restore health. So let's go ahead and do this one and we'll try and see whether we can still uh, resurrect this PC without reinstalling. So we'll go ahead and let this go. And uh, we'll let this scan do its thing. And once this is complete, it should give us a full readout of what's actually happening uh, to this computer. So we'll speed this process up and we'll see what the end result is here. So it's going to go through here and there we go. It's now finished and we've got an error and it's not completed because it can't fix the problem that we've got here. So this is what can happen. And you can see here the source files could not be found. And uh, you can also go ahead and do this offline scan, which I'm going to try to see whether we can fix it that way. Now, you can always boot to a USB flash drive with Windows on it and then click on repair your computer and then go into the troubleshoot and command prompt and run a command from there and try and do an offline uh, scan and see if we can fix it. And it will use the Windows files and try to repair it. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I've already known what we've done. And I just want to show you some of the options you have uh, to try and fix this if your PC crashed. But go ahead and type in this command and hopefully this fixes it and puts in the files that it needs to try and fix the issue that we have here. But now you can already see by just shutting the PC down during a critical stage of a Windows update can really bring this PC to its knees. Now, this can be done three times and have no problems. Windows might be able to recover itself from the crash. And you can see here already, it can't replace those files. It can't fix it. And I'm not going to spend too much time on it, uh, delving too deep on this, because at the end of the day, the point of the video is do not uh, do this to your compute because it can, you know, brick your operating system. And you may need to do a fresh install or you need to do a repair install of your operating system. So as you can see here, it's still installing the updates. I've tried it again and lo and behold, it's caused another error and we now have a major problem. So at the end of the day, don't do this to your computer because now you'll be forced to do a fresh install or you can use the reset this PC feature inside Windows. And that means you're going to lose all your applications and everything else and you're going to have to reinstall all of this stuff. And it can be a major headache. So be patient when doing a Windows update. Be patient. Don't shut it down during that process. Give it plenty of time to finish updating the system. Even if the screen goes black, just leave it for a while and let it do its thing. Because if you stop that process during the Windows updates and it's updating a critical file right at that particular time, you are going to have a major problem like you can see here. And you're going to be caught in this fixing uh, your PC 
uh, scenario and you really don't need it and now you can see we're going to have to reset the PC to try and fix it. Now you can spend a bunch of time on this trying to fix it but this video is not about fixing this issue it's about showing you the dangers of stopping a Windows update during the process and uh, again you may get away with this a few times but after a while it's going to bite you and you're going to end up with this sort of issue. So I'll go ahead and get this installed on the system. And now that should be Windows installed. You can see all the apps have been removed and we now have uh, just the data left on there. Don't rely on Microsoft to back up your data. Back it up yourself. And basically, once you've done this, you should be able to update Windows just like this. If you're downloading and doing a reset this PC, use the cloud option because that's going to download fresh files from Microsoft and install them onto your computer rather than doing a local uh, install and uh, do it that way and you'll have no problems. You can see now we're updating and we're having no issues at all. So now you know, never interrupt a Windows update during its process because you can end up bricking your OS. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this answers all your questions. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.